Hey guys, Coach Sam here. I'm joined with uh, Coach James, and we're going to be going through um, the different chin up progressions. So, chin ups are an exercise, you know, one of the best exercises for the upper body. It's called sort of the king uh, of the upper body exercises because the, the sheer amount of muscles involved in the uh, performing the chin up in regards to the forearms, biceps, and all the, the muscles of the, um, the back, you know, the lats as well. So, it's, it's such a big. Uh, big compound movement and it's pretty cool. It's a great exercise to, um, to perform and a lot of members that join the gym, they, they, you know, they have the aspiration of, um, of achieving a chin up one day. So we're gonna talk you through the chin up progressions um, that we utilize at SOS and we'd like you all to follow. Uh, the way we're progressing things now is, you know, with, with your chin ups, they are gonna be quite individualized based on where you are in regards to your current levels of strength in performing this, um, this movement. So whether you're in book, first join the gym, uh, what we'll probably do is for the first 12 weeks is get you doing uh, up to 12 weeks of different variations of rows just to te teach you to be able to retract the scapula, uh, strengthen the mid, the mid rhomboids uh, and all the muscles involved in you know, giving your back a nice big base. But once you're able to you know, do an eccentric chin up, we're going to be progressing then onto what's called uh, the, the chin up progressions. There's three to four phases of this. James has done his 12 weeks of, of rows. His back has got a bit more musculature development. He's got a bit more hypertrophy in that back now. He can retract more um, and he's got a lot stronger in, 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 in terms of this row. But now we, we, he wants to conquer his first chin up. Yeah, he's been hoping to do a chin up for a little while now and he's excited to achieve it. So the first thing we're gonna do is, James has done his, ex his extensor exercise. So it could be bench press, it could be shoulder press, it could be incline press, it could be dip and it's super set with, um, with a chin up variation. So James is gonna step up. Now it's important guys, that you, when, when he does this, yeah, okay, it's about, any of you can okay, so you're going to grip. It's important that he doesn't jump up, he steps up, chin, up, chin goes above the bar, he's gonna lower himself for 10 seconds. So come down, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, he comes down, he, he, he succeeded in the 10 second eccentric, he's going to go up again. Okay, so he goes straight back up, same grip. Yeah. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. He managed it, now we go up again. I let him fail this time, so I let him fail, but he's going to go up. He's going to try and do his 10 seconds again. Yeah, oh, he can't do it, okay. So James then calls that set, um, calls it a day, okay. So if he did manage to do 10 seconds again, he would go up again and then do another 10 seconds. So the aim is to, to perform as many successful reps as possible with the 10 second eccentric. James just, uh, just failed there. So he's now gonna start his stopwatch, rest, and he's gonna go back to his next exercise, which will be probably bench press, incline press, um, dip or overhead press and then you superset that exercise again with the um, with the chin-up variation. Now this chin-up variation can be done with any sort of grip depending also on the program. You know wider grip, narrow grip, medium grip, and supinated, pronated, neutral as well. Um, which is which is great. But he's done that now. Now imagine James is strong enough to do 15 reps. Once you can do 15, so James needs to say three then, do three, 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 five six, three. 15 reps. He's then going to move on to the next progression of, um, of chin ups. But you only move on once you can do 15 in your A series. Okay, so that could be 5, 5, 5, 5, 6, 3, however you want to do it. You need to be able to get 15. The next progression, James is going to do. Yeah, step up. Okay, he's going to hold the top. That's it. Come down a tiny bit. Hold for 10. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Four, three, two, and a bit lower. Hold 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and a bit lower. Hold 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and release. Good. Now he's gonna, I'm not gonna make him do it, but he'd go back up. Yeah, 10 seconds again, 10 seconds again, 10 seconds again. Okay? And he's gonna carry on doing that until he can no longer do it, until he just falls down. Once he does that, the set is done. Okay, now, James is gonna stay on this progression until he can accumulate 12 of those reps in a session, okay? In the A series, so it could be four, 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 doesn't matter how you do it, three, 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 yeah, you know, but uh, the aim is to do 12. Once James can do 12, 
he's then going to be ready for what's called um, slightly assisted chin ups. So, James is coming back up, and this is where the coach helps him. This is your chin up progression of three. So, he's going to have a dead hand start. He's going to start at the bottom this time. He's going to pull up. I'm going to give him a little bit of help. Pull. Yeah, he's going to come down for four. Four, three, two, one. I'm going to lift him up a little bit. Okay, down he comes. Do one more. Give him a little bit of help, and up again. Good. Four, three, two, one. So, the third progression is an assisted chin up where the coach just helps you five or ten percent. Now, I've been doing this a long time, and I know that when you can help, when someone can do six assisted chin ups, they're going to be able to do one chin up on their own without any help, just dead hand, and pull themselves up straight away. Most people can do up to two once they can do six assisted chin ups based on the level uh, of assistance. So, once James has conquered six of those in a row, he's then ready to do his chin ups on his own, and we can start building up. Um, the amount of reps you can do of that, um, of that movement. So guys, there are chin-up progressions. Phase one is obviously, you know, once you've done your, your rows and you're super strong, the phase one is the 10 second eccentrics. Yeah, we're gonna keep doing those until you can accumulate 15 in a workout. Phase two is the pauses on the way down, the isometric pauses, 10 seconds, 10 seconds, 10 seconds. Okay, and then the last one then is the assisted um, chin-up. All I would say with, um, with these chin-up progressions is when you're doing the 10 seconds, make sure it's an even 10 seconds. Don't hold here for eight seconds and then drop for two. Make sure it is a nice, even 10 seconds. With the 10 second pauses, pause at the top for 10, sort of mid-range for 10, and in the bottom third of the movement for 10. Okay, and uh, yeah, I'm sure our members, if you start doing these properly, you could all soon be um, smashing up those, um, those chin-ups. Guys, if anyone's got any questions, speak to me or speak to the coaches. We can tell you what the best chin-up um, version for you is. And we look forward to seeing you back in the gym, smashing your chin-ups soon. Thanks, guys.